I'm not going to say it. Let's just not say it. it feels wrong. Even to me. It's like I want to say it. So, the um, intro to my videos is quite an interesting thing. I used to think that uh, on TV and stuff, and TV shows where they start a show and they say, um, Welcome to Britain's Gone Talent and all that wank, you know what I mean? And I used to think, my God, that's so cheesy. And then I used to watch other YouTube channels and they do the same kind of thing. Everyone kind of has a, an intro or a, a what do you call it now? Um, you know, a, a, a catchphrase or a starting line and an ending line. You know, I have the ending line as well. And uh, what I want to do in this video, it's a chuck away, it's a chat, not a shop chat. But, you know, it's a shop chat. Fuck, it's a shop chat. <coughs> Uh, what I want to say is, I can't wait to move. What I want to say is, is that um, how things of you know just doing this channel stuff. I could never when I first ever started. Oh my god! Um, and as you can see here, and with two-stroke uh, engines, they have a pin inside uh, the side of the piston and it's just a ring pin and it's to stop the rings rotating so this gap doesn't move around I've got a four stroke um, piston this is a it's not really it's a tool video but it's um, because I've been uh, kind of focusing on two strokes you know playing around with them a bit at the moment and I kind of left the four stroke stuff behind for the time being because um, I just wanted to change really um, I just wanted to go over some um, tools. Um, Stephen asked me uh, through a couple of messages and all the rest of it, would I make him a adapter for his cylinder head um, to do leak testing, to do two-stroke leak testing in the crankcase. Um, so I thought I'd uh, just record a little video of me uh, fabricating it up. It's just a tiny bit of grinding, a bit of pulling apart the spark plug and a bit of welding and all this. But I just thought I'd uh, bring you all along to show you um, what I'm up to, what I'm doing, how it's done. If you uh, want to give yourself, if, if you want to give yourself, if you want to make make one yourself. Um. The nerves, everything. Um, trying to read off scripts or try. I was constantly conscious of what I was saying, the pace I was saying it. If I was being clear enough, which I wasn't, and so on. And now and again, I get a, 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 a comment from a video, an old video, saying, well, why don't you sort the sound out, or stop being so quiet, or that lighting's really bad, or something like that. And it's like, well, yes, I was starting out. <laughs> Not a professional, you know what I mean? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> you know, I've never done presenting, which is what this is at the end of the day. And, um, but there's a few things I've noticed. Um, catchphrases, they just come out of nowhere, you know what I mean? Uh, the dick and the balls, the poster, and the, the, the reason why I call it that is because I said it as a chuck away comment. And that has a power factor of one, that is the fucking balls. One point something is, it's more than balls, and one point four and one point five that's the dick and the balls that's just i scared <laughs> in a video and people proper latched onto it and it's weird because you don't know what people are going to latch onto master of zoom is something i did not think for the life of me was going to become a thing you know and um people send me emails and stuff where they say that they repeat what i say a bit like AV and stuff, you know, I I'm terrible for that, you know, chooching and schmoo and stuff like that. But it's just it's just a strange thing, we are strange animals, um, the way we emulate and copy stuff, and uh, it's just weird. One thing I will say is that, um, uh, so there's two things I just want to quickly cover. Number one is getting used to the sound of your own voice. That's, it creeps up on you. When I first ever recorded, like most of you will do, when you record yourself and you hear yourself, you go, that's not me. And I think it's something to do with where the sound is coming from. You know, when you talk, you hear it through your skull as well as everywhere else. 
where when you hear it from speakers, your mind goes, that's not you. <laughs> so it sounds weird. But it's weird, it takes about, I keep on saying weird, um, it takes about, I don't know, about six months, and then you don't hear it anymore. Like, literally, when I hear this video back when I'm editing, it sounds perfectly like me, it's just, it is, that is how I sound. And it's just a weird trick that your mind plays on you that eventually dissolves. And I think it's one of the things now where I will never get that back, I will never get that, um, you know, it's just a sense, or not a sense, but a, an aspect that I've lost, that if I hear my voice recorded now, it'll just sound like me, not that when it used to sound weird, regardless. Um, the other thing is, as well, is um, subscribers. So when I got 5,000 subscribers, I was as happy as fuck. Uh, 20,000, I was really I was like, oh, this is awesome. 40,000 came round, and I was just like, yeah, 40,000. And I think that's bad. I felt a bit guilty for that. <laughs> because I was like, it should, it's a lot. It's double what you had before when you did the 20,000 subscribers video. But you become, you know, you become, um, not immune, but it's a bit benign. You kind of become a bit detached from it. And the thing is, the numbers are stupid as well. 40,000, fuck you now, fire. It's just, you know, it, it's it's weird that I felt a bit guilty because I was like, shit, I should be really, I was trying to force myself to be more like, wow, 40,000. But I think one, because it's progressively built up, and but number two is, is just that, you know, it's not new anymore, you know, getting to a milestone. When I got to the first 5,000, I was like, holy shit, this might be something in this. And when we got to 20,000, I was like, fucking hell, there really is something in this. And then 40,000, I was like, yeah. It doesn't mean that I don't um, respect, not respect, what's the word? It's not that I don't, it's not that I'm not happy about it. It just becomes a bit more normal and it's crazy that it does. If you'd said to me right at the beginning that you'll be having 40,000, maybe even 50,000, maybe one day even 100,000, I'd be like, feck off. Because you're just you and all that kind of rubbish. But, um, yeah, you know, I, the, the beauty that I love about this channel stuff is just the the transparency of it all, or you can be if you choose to be. But um, back to the catchphrase type thing, I always thought like a signing off, you know, the, that bit in Anchorman where they're trying to do the stay classy San Diego thing, which is quite funny, and thanks for stopping by. And I always thought they were cheesy. But it's weird because a video like this one didn't feel like it started if I don't say, you know, the intro line. Same with the outro, if you don't say it, because it's weird because sometimes I miss the outro out, like literally I forget to say it. I was thinking, ah, fuck it, the majority of the video's there, we'll just stop it here. And I don't say the bit. And, um, and then people say, what happened to the rest of the video? It's like, well, that was it. You, I got to the end of a sentence, we'd finish what we were doing, we'd come to some kind of conclusion, or I'd screamed and yelled at the camera. Enough. And just because I didn't say it, they feel like something's missing. And it's weird because it's the same for me, you know, it's, it's like I can't finish a video without saying it. So, to that end, 